this is uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning it's freezing freezing cold the rain's coming down and I'm on my walk in about six weeks time I'll be doing the same thing but I'll be on shorts t-shirt and it won't be freezing cold but I do this daily daily walk and uh, get in about nine to ten thousand steps sometimes it's warm sometimes it's not although for the last few months the weather has been brutal Mind you, I suppose we are still, we're just in the beginning of March, so it's been, uh, it's been wintry, hasn't it, really? That's where I work over there. Hinkley Point Nuclear Power Station C. So I generally go out on my main break, which is now. So rather than keep sitting down it's good to get out and get some exercise this week I handed in my notice so today being my first day of four I'll finish on Saturday that'll be the end of my working life and have a new uh, a new adventure in the Philippines hopefully doing some good work out there not work as in paid work but you know, voluntary work for helping out in any way I can with the poor, with the needy and living in a in a Filipino environment So obviously I'm looking forward to uh, a warmer climate and not to have to wear these big bulky clothes but uh, the UK is like that it's uh, it has the seasons has the rain has the wind has the cold during some of the uh, weeks of the summer we get warm weather but by and large it's a uh, it's an indifferent type of climate uh, which is why it's so green and lush I guess remember making uh, some of the first videos I did and uh, at that point there was like six seven months to go before before I get to go and now I'm recording when I've only got about five weeks to go so it's been a journey it's been a long wait so you know, it's been doing paperwork and getting everything together but it's all been worth it. The ups, the downs. My friend uh, Paul is now out in Manila. And I've spoken to him a few times, getting acclimatized to the weather, the time difference, and uh, generally looking forward to uh, the future. You know, spending time now with my daughter and family as much as I can. Making memories. And I'll miss them terribly. So she's been a great support to serve the children. And uh, I'm sure that they'll, uh, they'll come and see me. I'll certainly come back and see them and FaceTime as often as we can. Uh, just so as you know, it is me. I am here <laughs> underneath these uh, these uh, clothing. <laughs> these are the two old uh, two old reactors called Hinkley Hinkley A and Hinkley B. Hence the reason the new build is called Hinkley C. So I've taken my uh, snood off only because it gets a bit hot underneath there. Um, it's not raining now. 
the drizzle has stopped and we're just walking uh, on my way back now so it takes about um, 25-30 minutes just a short video to uh, give you an idea about uh, what I do with my day at the moment as I'm working full-time so I drive a I drive a bus around the uh, Hinkley Point site it's about uh, I think the whole site's around 10 square miles so it's pretty huge and uh, you can see there the uh, construction going on it's gonna be a few years before it opens that's for sure that's where I work and this is uh, my daily walk a few memories to take with me when I'm not quite so cold <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. It was only a short one. Gives you an idea about what I'm doing. Gives you an idea of the British weather. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep smiling, stay happy. Catch you next time.